Hi guys, welcome back to High Yield Intraday Trading. So I have been getting a lot many requests from the guys uh, to let them know what head and shoulders pattern is and how exactly do we trade them. So today we will discuss about a chart pattern called as head and shoulders pattern. All right. Now to give you a brief about the head and shoulders pattern, these are actually formed at the tops and bottoms of a reversal. So basically, these are reversal chart patterns and we take the help of these kind of patterns to know the bullish or bearish trends, okay, when they are about to occur, okay. Now coming to the accuracy of the head and shoulders pattern, as we all know, none of the patterns are 100% reliable. So I would say the success rate of this pattern is around 60 to 70%, which is quite good. But yes, this is one of the most reliable technical formations. All right. So having that said, let me jump on to the kind of formations that occur in head and shoulders pattern. Okay. So basically, we have two kind of formations. One is head and shoulders tops pattern and the second one is the head and shoulders bottoms pattern. I will go ahead and explain both of them one after the other. So coming on to the head and shoulders top pattern. So when we get this pattern, it is the sign of a reversal from bullish to bearish trend. Okay, this develops after a strong uptrend. Now, coming on to the head and shoulders bottoms pattern. So when we get this kind of pattern, it is a sign that a reversal uh, will be happening from bearish to a bullish trend. Okay, now this develops after a strong downtrend. Okay, so let me just show you how exactly the head and shoulders tops and bottoms look like. I have already drawn it. Okay, now this is the head and shoulders top formation and this is the head and shoulders bottom formation. Okay, now coming to the top formation, this area is the first shoulder, this is the head and this is the second shoulder. Okay, now coming to the bottoms pattern, this is the first shoulder, this is the head and this is the second shoulder. Okay, this is all about it. Okay, now when trading with the head and shoulders pattern, one thing to remember is the neckline. Okay, now the neckline is the most important thing that we need to keep in mind when trading the head and shoulders pattern because this is the first thing that we are going to draw on the charts. Okay, now we take the neckline as the trigger line, either to go short or to go long. Okay, now one more thing to remember here is that the neckline that we draw okay it is not important for that to be flat or parallel it can be slightly up and down which is okay okay now what i mean here is if you see the diagram here this line is the neckline okay so you draw it from the left towards the right and extend it okay this is for the top formation for the bottom formation this is the neckline you draw it from the left towards the right and extend it okay this is how it looks like Alright, now if you see here, as I said, the neckline doesn't have to be flat or parallel. So if you see here, it's a kind of upward here and here it's kind of down downward. It's not important for the trend line, uh, sorry, for the neckline to be straight or parallel like this. Okay, so it can be a bit up and down. That's okay. It works absolutely fine. Alright, now coming on to the three most important aspects of trading the head and shoulders pattern. Okay, there are three aspects of it. First would be when to enter the trade. Okay, second would be where do we place the stop loss. And the third would be when do we exit the trade or when do we book our profits. Okay, now let me cover it one after the other. Now, let me take the, uh, let me take the example of head and shoulders top formation. Okay, now we see the head and shoulders top formation here. Okay, so the first thing we do is to draw the neckline. Okay, from left to right and extend it. Okay, now you see this entry point. This is the point where we take the trade, where we enter short. Okay, now how do we know where exactly do we enter short? That is when the candle closes below the neckline. Okay, so this will be our entry point. Now coming to the stop loss, where do we place the stop loss? 
the stop loss has to be placed on the second shoulder okay if the second shoulder is being made at the recent swing high then that will be our stop loss okay now coming to the third aspect that is when do we exit or when do we book our profits okay now that is quite simple but very important please make a note of it okay you see the purple line here the purple line has been drawn right from the head till the neckline now you go ahead and draw the same uh, the same line having the same height from the entry point towards the downward direction okay now the end of that particular line will be your profit booking point will be the point where you exit the trade I hope you understand right so we draw a line from the head till the neckline and we make sure that the height of this line is same to the height of this line okay so the height of both the lines should be the same okay in the in the case of head and shoulders top formation since we are going short we draw this particular purple line right from the entry point towards the downward direction okay and this will be the point of exit okay now coming on to the head and shoulders bottoms formation okay we see the head and shoulders bottom form uh, forming here okay so the entry point will be the one which is shown here okay now how do we decide where to enter we decide to enter when the candle closes above the neckline okay if the candle closes here this will be our entry point okay the arrow which is shown here where do we place the stop loss the stop loss will be the second shoulder and if the recent swing low matches the second sol shoulder then that point will be our stop loss okay now coming on to when do we exit or when do we book our profits the same formula is being applied here it's just a matter of line that we draw okay so we draw a line right from the head till the neckline and we make sure that we draw a second line which is of the same height right from the entry point in the upward direction and this will be our exit point this will be the point where we book our profits okay it's it's as simple as it is guys okay right so just make it a habit of watching and reading the charts so that you can start identifying these kind of patterns and once you identify the pattern you know very well how to trade them yeah so I hope I was able to explain it uh, in a very simple way because as I've told earlier intraday trading is very easy when we make it really simple when we keep when we keep it really simple okay so I believe I have explained the stuff here in a very simple way so the more we keep the stuffs uh, stuffs simple the more success we get in intraday trading okay also as I mentioned this always backtest this first before you apply it on the live markets okay and uh, there is a lot more uh, to learn guys and since it is not possible for me to explain each and everything on YouTube and also since it takes a lot of hard work I will be covering the other things in my training program alright so having that said would request you all to like subscribe and watch out for my next video and yeah guys just want to take 30 seconds of yours to remind you about my training program commencing on 22nd July 2017 and I'm getting tremendous response for the slot reservations so I request you all to book your slots right away as it is on a first come first service basis uh, please visit www.highyieldtradings.com forward slash trainings to get the details about the training program thanks much and guys these are the options which you have to get in touch with me or with my team directly uh, first one is the website you can visit the website uh, wherein you can register for the trainings directly and we have also introduced a new page called trade gallery uh, wherein I post all the calls or uh, the analysis of the calls that I give for the day so you can have a look and you can very well understand why the call was given what was the entry and what's the exit 
uh, second one is the Facebook page uh, you can visit the Facebook page uh, like it comment on it and you can also ask any queries that you might be having third one would be the whatsapp number this is the direct number for my team so uh, once you get in touch with us we'll make sure that we uh, revert back to you and the last one is telegram you can um, join the telegram channel to uh, watch out all the, ca all the calls that we uh, give over there so basically discord and telegram will be in sync alright thanks so much